Hello YouTube. I was uh, doing some stuff today and ran into a fan at uh, this one church. And it was interesting to see her response when she, she recognized me. Um, and uh, she said that uh, she thinks that I'm doing more for the community uh, tourism wise. Um, than most most other people do in this area um, which is interesting um, and also she made a comment about how she thought it was interesting that we that we um, former Amish get together and, and have these these reunions every year and so I'm so I kind of encouraged me to uh, to uh, continue what I've been doing, I I know I've been kind of discouraged lately, not really running, not really uh, feeling like I making as much impact. But but meeting a fan like that was was a uh, was an interesting experience. But anyway, the reason I I made this video also is because um, you may know about. I heard me talk about the about the Amish beard cutters and uh, uh, well, they've been called a gang. They've been on pretty much all the news outlets. They they they're internationally famous. Actually, the uh, the Daily Mail in the UK did an article on them. Um, but uh, some of the things that that I've heard are pretty disturbing, and they live in Jefferson County, I guess. And um, some of the stuff I've heard about these, this group is my mom says that he's a polygamist, which is illegal. Um, that he has four wives. Um, his first wife is he didn't treat her very well so not and she's left him but uh, I guess still married uh, so he has three other w women that he considers his wife um, but that's that's not I don't know if, how how he can legally consider himself uh, uh, married to to more than one woman um, his daughter was married to this one guy and uh, from the Daily Mail article it says that uh, that the that the guy ended up leaving the group and uh, went to uh, he ended up getting custody of, of the of the kids, and um, his wife was so brainwashed she ended up staying with the group and uh, lost custody when they divorced and everything, which is not like uh, any other Amish group that I've ever um, heard of. Not they don't normally allow divorce anyway, but. What uh, the one thing that I I would like you guys to to really um, look into or ha have have these little sheriff's office really look into is the report that I hear that he buried a kid alive. <laughs> Man, why is this guy not in prison? If he if he goes and buries kids alive, anybody alive, that's murder. The guy should be in prison if that, if that is really true. And my mom says it is. Um, um, I guess the only thing I can say is uh, I'd like you guys to uh, to call the sheriff's office, see if if uh, maybe we can get some pressure on the on the sheriff's office to uh, to uh, look into that. 
I don't know what what how you would prove it, but I guess if you if you really if you exhumed the body, I guess you um and it they died of asphyxiation. I guess that would be one way to to prove uh, that that he uh, uh that if it was if it could be proven that it was homicide. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to say, I don't know how many graves you'd have to dig up to, to prove something like that, but, and I, I would hate to have to do that, but, but if he's a murderer, you know, he should be in prison. And, and this wasn't the first person that I've heard this from. I mean, I, I, what I, read it on uh, on Facebook from uh, a kid that was in uh, Rumspringa um, and then I asked my mom says, I heard that, the, that he uh, that he uh, buried a kid alive and, and she's like yeah he did I was like wow that's if it's common knowledge should he did this then why isn't he being investigated for that I mean beard cutting yes that's assault and that's that that's not something you you should uh, be doing but murder that that's even worse than uh, than uh, assaulting somebody um, but Yeah, um, there's a lot of jokes been made about thy last name. Last name is Mullot. <laughs> yeah, because uh, in the eighties the Mullots and whatnot, and uh, and he's so now he's uh, become a joke like that. But but yeah, I ask you to to uh, to uh, contact the sheriff's office and ask him to to look into that. Um, to uh, possibly because uh, obviously the guy's got some control over his group of people and and he's um, what's this control he has over these people he's he's hurting uh, his members and if he can if he can get away with murder like that what uh, what else can he do? I mean, the the sheriff said that he he wouldn't be surprised if uh, if one day he'd get a call and that they're all dead. You know, the whole whole gang is is uh has been murdered or something. Well, then it's possible for a guy like that. So. Why isn't he behind bars? So um, I put the the link up at the sheriff's office number on the screen to so because I want you guys to if if you have a time to to uh, call him and ask ask him uh, to look into that. Um, okay, well. I guess this is the end for this video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.